An agent needs assistance. An agent needs assistance. We're going in one at a time. About to come online. An agent needs assistance. We gotta regroup. Hey Agents! In this video, I'm going to give some tips on how you can become a better PvP player, particularly in Conflict. I'm by no means the best PvP player in the Division 2, but as I play mostly solo and never follow metas, I've had to teach myself the ins and outs to stay competitive. Before getting into any tips, there are a few things I want to make sure you've done even before trying PvP. You need to complete the latest DLC, as of right now, that's Warlords of New York. Then you'll need a proper PvP build. That means appropriate weapon and gear talents, as well as attributes on them. If you haven't done these things, you're going to have a really hard time in PvP. Also, although not necessary, getting to SHD level 750 will put you on an even level with most players. Okay, so now for my first tip, I want to look at movement. This is probably the biggest issue for players new to PvP. Unlike in PvE, where you right. mostly want to stay Come in back. cover, in PvP, you want to be constantly moving. And I'm not talking about the chicken dance, mouse and keyboard, abuse the netcode movement. I'm just talking about moving side to side to force your enemies to adjust their aim. You'll see here that I'm moving back and forth while shooting, and immediately sprint perpendicular to the enemy when reloading. Even though I missed a lot of shots here, I was able to throw off the enemy's aim and secure the kill. If you're stuck in cover or standing still while firing, your enemy is going to be able to hit every shot. So even if you're running like 1.8 million armor, you're going to go down really quickly. Next up, I'll get into builds. I want to emphasize first and foremost, min-maxing your PvP build is not necessary. A few critical hit damage or weapon damage here and there is not going to make any difference. What will make a difference is if you've got skill haste or health rolled on a DPS build. You could be losing 24% critical hit damage right there, and that will make a difference. I've seen everything from Wicked on a build with zero ability to apply status effects, to an all red build with armor regen. It doesn't take hours of theory crafting to put together a good PvP build, 
but it does take some common sense. Here's an example of a basic build that I use in conflict. Three blues and unbreakable give me survivability, and vigilance gives me a huge damage boost if I get the jump on an enemy. Then, roll critical hit damage on everything, and critical hit chance until you hit the 60% cap. After that, handling, headshot damage, whatever you think will most complement your build is okay. As for skills, most of them are viable in PvP, but avoid reviver hives, and if you're running DPS, healing skills are pretty much useless. Another thing, talents with on-kill mechanics like killer, close and personal, and even the eagle bearer's tenacity are not ideal in conflict, as there aren't any NPCs to activate your buffs. They're best when playing solo content or the DZ. Finally, I want to talk about how to choose appropriate gear for your build. I've got a Yal chest piece with nearly full armor, 10% hazard protection, almost full repair skills, and reassigned as the talent. At first glance, this may look like an amazing chest piece, but even after recalibration, you're either going to have a useless talent or a dead attribute. Even though repair skills is nearly full, it's not going to do anything for a build that uses Yal. And reassigned is reassigned. Then, I've got a Walker Harris chest piece with full damage, 5% crit chance, 10.8% crit damage, and unbreakable as a talent. Even though the attributes are not full, this is exactly the type of gear you want on your build. 1% crit chance and 1.2% crit damage is nothing. You're never going to lose a fight because you're missing such small numbers. Especially now that we've got the optimization station, your first priority should be finding gear with the best attributes and talent. You can always optimize them later. Queue with a friend. And I really mean a friend. Duos seem to get treated like solos in matchmaking. More often than not, you'll be matched against a team of solos. Whereas if you're in a three or four man group, matchmaking will try to pin you against other full squads. Having one person you're comfortable communicating with and know their playstyle makes a world of difference in this game. You'll never be alone, you can watch each other's backs, and it's just generally more fun. You have someone to celebrate wins with and bitch about losses with. Finally, I put two categories into one, observe and teamwork. Observe your surroundings, observe your teammates, even observe the time on the clock. The first boost spawns at 9.30, don't be dead at 9.30. If the enemy team does manage to get the boost, avoid fighting for 30 seconds, as it is a significant power spike. It's really not that hard. If the boost is on the left side of the map, reposition to the right side of the map. Usually by the time the enemy team finds you, the boost will have expired. If the enemy team gets the specialization package, that's another story. If they have the firewall specializations, you're now forced to avoid close quarters combat as the flamethrower is still broken as fuck. Here, I have 100% fire resistance, and a stream of fire still almost killed me. Also, you see your teammate at low armor running away from a position. You probably don't want to be stuck in cover in plain sight. Instead, drop a stinger hive, shock trap to block the path and give your teammate time to heal up so you can fight together. Breaking away from your team and flanking can be a really good strategy, but for newer players, I recommend sticking with your teammates at all times. Unless your route and timing are on point, your team could be stuck in a 3v4 if the enemy team pushes and you're off in an alleyway. Anyways, take the blinders off and be aware of everything and everybody around you. So to recap, Always be moving, put a little thought into your build, queue with a friend, and observe everything. Those are my tips for improving your PvP in the Division 2 and hopefully enjoying it a little bit more. I hope this video was helpful, happy farming, and I'll see you in the next video. Rogue striker drone detected. Agent needs to 
assistance. Push, 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 push. Medical assistance needed. One, one, one more. Oh, nice, nice cover, nice fucking cover. Yeah, they're pushing kind of. I get the boost. The boost is being taken by allies. Allies have acquired the boost. of Seeker Mine detected. Detected. Friendly is claiming the supply drop. Actualizing the supply drop is in friendly hands. You're halfway through the fight. Explosive. 
explosive seeker mine detected. game. 